How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today our quote is by the famous Stoic philosopher Seneca. The quote is, We must give up many things to which we are addicted, considering them to be good. Otherwise, courage will vanish, which should continually test itself. Greatness of soul will be lost, which can't stand out unless it disdains as petty what the mob regards as most desirable. So today our topic is on clearly seeing our addictions and then going beyond them. Our mechanical addictions are what keep us locked in place. So take a good look at your life and see what little compulsions and drives have power over you by you not being able to live without them. We can start to look at just everyday things like our daily coffee, video games, social media, or gossip at the office. Is this just a harmless indulgence for you or is it now running your life? And also it gets harder to see with things like our psychological suffering because we may not look at our suffering like addictions, but how many people do you know that if they gave up their suffering would be a completely new person. Maybe you know someone who complains about everything. Would you be able to recognize them if all of a sudden they quit complaining? For many of us, giving up our suffering is the most difficult thing to do because on some level, we receive some pleasure from our suffering. We derive our sense of identity. I know it sounds crazy to say because who in their right mind would consciously hold on to their suffering and actually derive pleasure from it. But subconsciously, many of us have many buried beliefs that we acquired during our early development that are now responsible for our dysfunctional and self-sabotaging behavior. But through genuine self-observation, we can come to see how all our little addictions run our lives. And these addictions rob us of our vital energy and our inner freedom and our addictions live in the most mechanical parts of our centers in our mind, body, and emotions. So check out episode 108, where I elaborate on the working of our three brains and how our attention relates to each center. And in order to rise above our addictions, we need to become more conscious and aware. We need to become more mindful. Then we can use our directed attention to get into the more conscious parts of our centers and by seeing something clearly, we can start to go beyond it. We learn to stand aside and just observe all our mechanical tendencies. And by creating the inner space to clearly observe, you will be in a better position to start letting go of many of your unhealthy habits. By becoming more balanced in our centers, we start to correct many of our neurotic behaviors and addictions and inner harmony leads to outer harmony. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's idea, today's quote. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And don't keep me a secret. Share with someone who might find my content to be valuable. And if you're new to my channel, check out my essential self-development playlist. If you want to know how to practice self-observation in the way that I share on my channel, and until next time, wherever you are, many blessings. Peace.